Hello everybody, Mike Stewart here. Uh, I promised Sharice that I would show her how to do the NetBeans template editor information to add your student information at the top and the student comments at the bottom, but I figured I'd show everybody at the same time. So uh, I'm going to go through this a little bit quick, but uh, hopefully you can just jump back if I'm going a little bit too fast for you. Um, first thing, of course, is you've got to open up your NetBeans IDE and you go right up to the file menu at the top where it says tools and you're going to left click on tools scroll on down to where it says templates and left click on templates the one you're going to want to bring up is under the java heading just double click on java select java class that's going to be the one that we create every single time we're creating a new class object obviously and go ahead and cl click on open an editor and voila here we go we got the default information that is kicked out every single time we create a new class so obviously we need to add our information to the top so you don't want to avoid you want to avoid altering anything that's there so go ahead and create a couple new lines we're going to start with the forward slash star and of course create a new line and you're going to have your name you're going to have I don't like having to recreate it every time so I'm just going to copy and paste this you're going to have your name you're going to have your class you're going to have your uh, professor's name of course and you're going to have the date and then that's finally going to end with a end slash next step is just go right down to the bottom well, why recreate everything? You got it right here. Just copy all that, slap it at the bottom, throw it down, down here, student comments, and voila. That should be it. Uh, you have your student comments now already made at the bottom. You have your information at the top that you could actually even put in your name if you want. And you can put in the professor's name, if I spell it right. And if, as you see here, as I'm spelling things wrong, I downloaded a plugin for the spell editor, so it actually highlights misspelled stuff in your comment areas, and I'll put a link to that as well, so you can grab that from the NetBean site. Really helps helps me a lot with my student comments because I misspell a lot too. So anyway, you can just enter this information. Then when you go ahead and click on close, it's going to say, "Hey, you want to close? You want to save the information that you've changed? Just go ahead and say save, and boom. Next time you go up here." and you're creating a new project got a new Java application let's just create something here uh, we don't let's call it Java application 9 we go right in here we want to create a new Java class just name it new class and boom look at that everything's already populated for you so that's a really nice quick easy fix and it saves you a little bit of time having to redo it every time and you know and it will remind you to make sure that you put that information in there and you don't lose points so hopefully this helps you out if you have any questions just give me a holler